another video in our AOAP series with part nine on creating an 01 notification for a resample, right? So I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, series so far. Uh, like I said, this is going to be part nine. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. But let's go ahead and get started here. Share my screen. Come on. Government computers are slow. <laughs> All right. So creating O1 notification resample, right? So this is our transaction guide out of EUM Plus. We're going to use this transaction to create an O1 oil sample. Perform this transaction with the lab results from the previous oil sample notification indicator resample in acquire. Okay. You will need the notification number for the original oil sample to reference when creating this notification. So basically, like before, equipment situation report, UIC, it's automatically going to default to A through E. You will then hit the binoculars here, right? So once you hit the binoculars, right, you're going to search. We're going to search for your admin number of what you want to look for for the notification. First thing that comes up is going to load to the top. You're going to hit the red X to cancel it. And then you're going to highlight the row, and then you're going to actually go into system view. So system view is the, the magic bullet here, right? Or the, the, the silver bullet. So once you hit that, it's going to load your equipment level structure list. So that includes your transmission, engine, uh, your weapon systems, radios, uh, what do you call it? JPCPs, all that stuff will be here, okay? If it's, uh, if it's actually built correctly. You're going to hit the expand button. Once you hit the expand button, you're going to click the equipment list item. Okay. You'll go to the go to menu bar item. You're going to create a notification. So for this example, we're going to do the engine with container. We're going to highlight this. We go up here to the go to create notification. You're going to hit general. So once you do that, it's going to load you to this screen, which is iWhiskey 21, where we're going to create a PM notification this is your initial screen so what you'll do is for notification type it's going to be 01 and then you will hit execute right so once you hit execute it's going to load you in the screen okay so your description field right right here is your description field we're going to type aop engine resample then you got your long text right so once we click on the long text right we're going to reference the original um oil sample number okay so reference 01300214742 is our our um, notification number so you're going to click the vertical scroll bar and then from there you're going to click the priority drop down right so priority drop down there's a right here zulu a u o a p we're going to hit that we're going to click the oil sample data once we click the oil sample data, just like the previous screens, building uh, one notifications, uh, multi-select activities. And from here is where we're going to tell us about the temperature, how we actually took the sample, who requested it, and then what kind of results, right? So from here, you're going to hit the expand tree button like usual. You're going to go down to the scroll bar. All right. So like I said, you're going to put in for this example, be a hot sample. We're taking it by two. It's for a lab request. And then oil sample reason, lab request, right? You hit the bar, you're going to collapse it. And then for uh, zero 05 is for the results, right? We're just going to put what type of oil it is like we would normally do. Then we're going to put it in process, right? So the green flag, we're going to put it in process. You'll hit the save button. So once you hit the save button, it's going to bring you back to this right here, okay? So you're going to hit the back button again. And then you're going to click the notifications tab, right? So this will automatically still be highlighted here, all right? So make sure um, you hit the notification tab. Once you hit the notification tab, you're going to select uh, all, right? You're going to hit copy. So all the notification, right? So the top notification is what we're actually working with with the engine container. This is showing the description is for an AOAP uh, resample, right? We're going to click the other functions tab. Once we click the other functions tab, it's going to bring this. Should be no surprise. You can print your 20, uh, 2026, 
printer bottle labels transmit AOIP data. So we're going to print the 2026 form. Like usual, we will hit the print preview. Let's go bring it up here. Like I said, everything we put in the activities field and the notification, how was a hot sample, tube, lab request, so forth, right? We'll hit the print button. Hit print again. We're going to hit the back button. All right, now we're going to click the other functions button again. Once we click that, we can actually print the uh, the print label. So type your entry, starting label, whatever, six, click execute. So this is actually going to print your label. You're going to hit print preview again. And there's your label, right? So once your label, you hit the back button, you hit the back button again, you're going to hit the back button. Click the back button again, and now you've completed this transaction. So in summary, you've created an O1 oil sample notification for a resample in the system. So I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Like I said, this is uh, part nine. We'll be on part 10, hopefully later today. But as always, go ordinance. Thank you.